Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 19th, 2021. Well, today we're really going to crank up those earnings, and um, there is a tremendous amount of speculation going on in this market that creates also some significant risks. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach the market for today in the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. We have a, an interesting circumstance in the market. If we take a look at the diamonds, I'm going to go jump over to the Dow. Notice where we are in the diamonds this morning, gapping up, trying to push up here into those resistance highs. But let's jump over here to the Dow uh, just um, a second, and I want to show you what kind of risk we have here in this chart. That was our low right there. If we measure up to where we're opening up this morning, we're up over 1,200 points, actually approaching over 1,300 points in the Dow in just five trading days. Now, what that is, is just this remarkable speculation about the results of earnings. And you've gotta be really, really careful with this. Now, we have vastly improved the technical picture of these charts. I don't wanna give you the impression that everything is bad. I'm just suggesting there is significant risk of chasing trades if one of these companies, if one of the big predominant companies coming up, like big techs, happen to stumble in their earnings results, and why would they stumble in earnings results? Oh, I don't know, um, inflation, supply chain issues, rising energy costs, expensive bonds, all of these different things play into that. How about consumer sentiment dramatically lower? All of these things could raise some uncertainty in these earnings results. And I want to suggest to everyone be a little bit careful. Remember, chasing with a fear of missing out can create an awful lot of risk. Now that said, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach the day. First off, we are very experienced extended here in the short term on the Dow. It's all speculation heading into these earnings reports. We are fired up in a big way, and we're trying to push back up here and even maybe pressing toward new record highs in the market in just five days. We went down, it took all this time to go down. Look how long it's taken us to take that all back. <laughs> Um, pretty remarkable um, in this rally. And that just creates that significant risk. Now that said, I have to give this up to the bulls. When And I've talked about these ri risk levels in the chart, these resistance levels. We have smashed through those just as if they aren't even there. And unfortunately, we're doing the majority of that in the overnight market. Notice that we couldn't couldn't um, go any higher than this on the Dow that day, but we gap up here and then run up. And then we don't, we get another great big gap up and um, struggle to move any higher during the intraday trading. And now overnight, we're gapping up once again. So please keep in mind, we're leaving some big gaps behind here in this chart. If we were to stumble in any way, shape or form, just realize how far we could fall really quickly. Um, just measuring, let's go back over here to the Dow. And let's just consider if we were, we're opening up right here on the Dow, if we were just to stumble and come back here and fill this gap right there, that's um, nearly 600 points. So just kind of keep those things in mind as you rush in or think that you're missing out. You may not be missing out. You may be running right in 
to the very high risk area of the market. So vastly improved, we're up above our 50 day moving average, we're challenging these resistance points, we're within striking distance of breaking out. So very, very strong showing here in the last few days, but also creates significant risk. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, very similar situation pressing through these resistance levels as if they weren't even there, right back above their 50 day moving average. We've had no pullback and we're gapping higher again this morning. Gapping higher again this morning in anticipation of earnings. Let's keep in mind that we are going to be pushing up here into some resistance levels in this chart, right, right in there. Um, we're getting close to that and just kind of, understand how far elevated we are from that 50 day moving average if we were to stumble or pull back. So be very, very careful. Um, it doesn't take too many big techs to come out with the disappointing earnings results to see the results. Yesterday, you have to remember the 250 point whipsaw that occurred in the diamonds. And that was just merely on one downgrade of Disney. So keep in mind how sensitive this market is. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ also vastly improved on its technical picture. We are gapping up again this morning. We blew right through these resistance levels as if they weren't there, sliced right on through. And we have some amazing speculation heading into these earnings reports that everything is going to just, they're just going to report superior numbers. Be careful with that because we are so elevated. If um, one was to happen to miss or more, that could be a problem here. So be really, really careful. Let's keep in mind that Apple vastly cut its production of the new iPhones. Will there be a big replacement cycle? Will these show that improvement when we get to those big tech earnings? There's a lot of risk because we've moved so far so quickly. So keep that in mind as you plan your trading. I'm not saying we can't go back up and break out to new highs. We certainly can. I'm just saying that we have increased the risk on these trades dramatically because of this wild uh, buying going on in the market, um, just anticipating spectacular results in earnings. And maybe we'll get them, but what if we don't? So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM also rallied up nicely yesterday, recovering. So, so far we've been able to hold that 50 right above that 200 day moving average, but we still haven't resolved this you know, downtrending problem. We've got this little wedge going on here. And I think there is that possibility we could continue to wind around in here. Certainly the financial sector and the energy sector is a big player in this. I keep thinking that um, we will eventually get some pullback in energy. And this should be concerning the market because all of this energy price is just gonna in continue to um, rise push up the inflation in the country. But right now we just can't seem to care about any of that. We don't care about it. Just let those energy prices run and run and run. It doesn't seem to matter until all of a sudden it does. So watch that carefully as um, this continues to surge and we're trying to surge higher again today in those prices. Let's take a look at um, our VIX here this morning our VIX has diminished dramatically. So that's a good sign for the market. That is very bullish for the market. Seeing that VIX fall off and with the gap up this morning, I would expect that to also move that VIX lower still. So let's take a look at this. If I throw some lines in here, we're approaching these lows here um, in the chart. It's kind of amazing. We went from recent highs almost straight down to um, these lows here in the chart. So you have to begin to wonder um, with the uncertainties that we have out there of inflation, higher prices, supply chain issues, things like that. If we're starting to be get, get a little bit complacent here all of a sudden, but let's watch that closely. I suspect we'll be testing these lows down here um, 
today and maybe even breaking this little support level in that price breaking down through there um, could occur today so that we've got to give that up to the bulls fear is dropping out of the market but it does make you wonder if we're becoming just a bit on the complacent side here so watch that close and then let's take a look at our t 21 22 this one gives me probably the biggest concern guys and it's really showing us um, this speculation ahead of um, these reports that we pushed up here really high and yesterday um, we pulled back just enough in here to open up some opportunity so we're gapping up this morning we're going to be right back up here in that bearish reversal zone now we've seen times where we can gap up there and we can stay up here for a period of time notice we were up here and we stayed up here for a period of time and perhaps we're going to experience one of those periods here in the market but i got to tell you anytime you see us pushing up in this range we have to consider the possibility of a pullback or some selling profit taking coming into the market we just get a little extended in um, that short term so watch that this morning we're likely to gap up into that bearish reversal zone so just be careful chasing and then if we take a look at our t2107 now t2107 has this is a, a vast improvement here notice that t2107 the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average we are now at 46.78 0.78 percent of the stocks above their 200-day moving average that means we still have about 50 percent of the stocks below their 200-day moving average and that still creates a little bit of uncertainty and concern but the good news is that this is starting to trend the way we wanted to see this trend for the bulls we're pushing through these resistance levels in the chart and we're holding up here I suspect the bullishness this morning in the market could pop us on up and if that continues to hold in here and we start con continuing to get these stocks coming up out of these bottoms that will help an awful lot with the market levity then let's take a look at our t2101 our absolute market breadth notice that our breadth continues to be um, very very weak down here um, as we continue to rush higher and higher and higher notice that we're not gaining a whole lot of ground here in breadth and we're getting close to this breadth area being way down here again potentially showing that complacency in the market and that lack of um well can i say momentum so watch that closely we we continue to move in that downside move here on that breadth so watch it carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today we don't have a big week of economic data but we do have a little bit to pay attention to notice that today we've got housing starts at 8 30 a.m we'll want to keep an eye on that we have seen housing kind of beginning to bounce around here a little bit with um, that little bit of uncertainty, higher interest rates coming, things like that. Um, housing um, starting to eh, just put in some shaky numbers from time to time. Then also keep in mind, we've got um, a parade of Fed speakers here going on today. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Not much to plan for on Wednesday except earnings um, because all we really have out there is a petroleum status number. Um, so keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is pretty substantial and we've got a lot going on here today. Overall on the calendar, we have 25 companies listed on the calendar and the majority of those have been verified. Now I don't have enough time to go through them all, but I want to point out here, this is, this is the backside of the website in the morning blog. I will publish this here really soon. If you jump over to the morning blog, and you can do that by clicking the link just below the title of the video it takes you back to the morning blog and you can get a list of all the notable reports um, today because as this um, earning season cranks up I will not be able to cover all of those one of the couple of the real um, important ones that we're going to want to think about is after the bell today we get our first big tech 
um, Netflix will be reporting after the bell today. Keep in mind that Netflix on the last earnings report guided lower, but we have pretty much ever since that earnings report bought this higher. So keep an eye on that. Perhaps they performed way better than expected, but watch that closely. Um, Netflix has really pushed up here and that report will come after the bell today. We had Procter & Gamble this morning. Procter & Gamble topped estimates, but notice we're getting a sell-off here this morning on P&G, so kind of keep an eye on that. We've got Johnson & Johnson here this morning, a little pop and drop going on. We have heard from some banks. We've got uh, Bank of New York. Um, not really moving a whole lot in here. We've got some railroads in here today. We've got some healthcare or healthcare um, tools. Take a look at Intuitive Surgical. They will be reporting today. We're gonna hear from some um, airlines like um, United Airlines today. We'll hear from some of the um, old conservative companies like uh, Philip Morris. Um, will be reporting today. So keep a close eye on that. We've got quite a few reports, even some oil in there on uh, that news today. So as these reports roll out, we're gonna have lots of volatility potential. So be kind of careful um, in these charts. And again, if you want that full list, click that link below the title of the video. Now, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video is worthy, if you could please do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe, or please click that, um, um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow it's that engagement that makes the difference and by the way if you comment on someone else's comment that also helps the algorithm as well so take your time and do that that helps a lot also please feel free to share these videos um, out on any of your social feeds and just a real quick shout out to everyone out there who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link below the title of the video you guys are truly awesome and you're going to see some changes i'm kind of excited about this it'll be pretty fun hey one of the things i'm going to do um just really quickly guys um, um some of you uh, all the members of right way options know that i i'm a wood carver um that's what i do in my um off time and we've got christmas coming our way and we're getting very very close to twenty-five thousand subscribers here on youtube so i'm going to do something fun um, I am going to, these are a couple, I, these aren't finished, the stumps um, here are not painted up, but these are a couple of um, trees that I have um, carved and put some lights on and I'm going to be giving one of those away. I'm going to give one of those away when we reach that 25 uh, thousand subscriber level so if anyone has an interest in that kind of keep that in mind if you continue to help me reach that 25,000 subscriber level I'll give you a personally carved your own personally carved Christmas tree all right guys let's take a look at some stock setting up and keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security one of the things that you guys know that I have talked about over and over and over is AMD um, AMD had a great day yesterday, but I do have to tell you that I'm a little bit concerned um, about the extension that this is stretching out. So be kind of careful here, guys. Notice as we approach this price resistance up here and we're coming in on an earnings report on the 26th, we may be getting a little bit stretched out here in the short term. I started talking about this stock right down here. Whoops right down here and this has been quite the player um, moving very very strongly to the upside so watch that closely for any kind of rest or pullback it could set up an opportunity um, in that chart also i um, have mentioned um, some of the energy um, sector stocks out there you guys know that i am holding kmi and i just cannot believe how strong this is my entry is down here and this thing just continues to run to the upside. Now this is approaching some resistance in the chart. And I'm gonna to go to a weekly here real quickly. 
breaking this big downtrend. So I want to I want to say be really careful about chasing this. A little bit more rest or consolidation is what I would like to see and kind of move out here toward this trend a bit. But watch that closely with energy doing its thing right here. Seems to be um, uh, no shortage of folks willing to chase these prices higher. So be careful here, but KMI looking really, really strong. So watch that closely. Take a look at Oracle. Now Oracle, I placed a price alert right here on this chart and I gotta say it's a little bit separated from its trend. What that means is when we're separated from the trend that we have that potential we could pop and then still pull back and consolidate into that trend. However, with all the speculation going on around these earnings reports, we could also just fuel right on through, move right on higher here on Oracle. I would keep a pretty close eye on that guy. Um, looking pretty darn good. Take a look at um, some of the things going on in coal. Coal, another energy that is in huge demand right now with um, supply issues, not only in China, but supply issues in India and other places around the world. Um, coal had a huge day yesterday, BTU spiking up. Um, watch this, this could get a little rest or consolidating pullback into that trend, but I would keep an eye on that next opportunity in BTU. Pretty nice looking chart, looking uh, very, very good overall. How about some um, a look at some stocks in um, exploration? Take a look at RIG. RIG is winding up in this wedging pattern here. And notice um, we keep challenging this upside uh, breakout. Haven't been able to do it just yet. If oil continues to surge like it is, you can imagine that everybody um, out there in the exploration business is going to start working really hard to find more of uh, more of it and produce more oil. So watch that carefully. If this pops out of that trend, holds in there, we could see some upside opportunity in that chart. Let's take a look at some retail. Now retail had a big day yesterday. Take a look at Target. Target shot up huge yesterday as retail surged back. Now what I would do, this is very extended in the short term, what I would do is maybe watch the support levels in this chart and I would look for that next rest consolidation pullback in here to take that next opportunity up in the chart. However, we could still see more upside and I'm seeing a lot of these stocks really surging um, out of lows. Take a look at Lululemon. Lulu has surged back up dramatically, crossing back up above its 50 day. So any rest or pullback in here could set up a nice opportunity in the chart. And I just saw that um, um, Walmart received a big upgrade. This is gapping up big this morning, as you can see right here. This is the pre-market activity. Gapping up big because it received a big upgrade suggesting it could be 40% higher. So retail all of a sudden is getting one heck of a surge. You might want to take a look at some of those um, in the charts. So there's a few for you to look at today. I can't cover everything that um, I would like to cover just running out of time. I want to suggest one more time, guys, to be a little bit careful. Be careful with the fear of missing out. Be careful at chasing a stock. Something like this creates an awful lot of risk if we rush into a trade like that. Let it consolidate, let it rest. We know that the market always pulls back at some point in time. Let that occur before you chase into something. Make sure you're buying your stocks with low risk entry and avoid that fear of missing out. Everyone have a successful day. I wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care.